For a highly effective, easy to carry OC spray, check out Palm Personal Defense Spray. I carry one every day, link is in the description. Hey everybody, it's John, I'm here with my friend Mark. We're doing a little bit of private training at C2 Tactical in Scottsdale. Thank you to them for allowing us this great bay in order to do some stuff and bring you some lessons. And Mark and I were talking, he likes to train, big time trainer in uh, empty handed combatives and in retention fighting. But you said to me earlier that you feel like maybe just the marksmanship piece beyond two arms length is something you don't do as much. Exactly, yeah, that's where I wanna hone my skills. Okay, so what we're gonna work on here as we get started, Mark, is we are gonna work on uh, shooting as fast as we can see. So really what we, what we really see is, is that as fast as you can see is how fast you can accurately pull the trigger. Now you say you watch a lot of ASP videos mm -hmm. um, yep. and you do that as part of your training. One of the biggest things we say all the time, you can't miss fast enough to win a gunfight, right? You can miss fast enough to win a USPSA stage, but not fast enough to win a gunfight. So here's what we've got today. We have uh, uh, basically an equivalent of an NRA B8 target. So this is a scored target. Now what is this right here? This is about a, a five inch circle, five and a half inch circle, about the size of a human fist. And what else is the size of a human fist? your heart, right? Your pumps in the pipes. So what we're gonna try to do today is we're gonna try to keep it inside this. Now that's not, oh, I gotta hit all X's or I gotta even hit all 10's. Anything nine and in, I'm perfectly happy with. So what we're gonna do at the start here to work on this drill, we're just gonna start at five yards. We're gonna back up to the five yard line here because this is a pretty typical distance. So we might think this is about a car length, right? So this yep. is about as far <laughs> as we're gonna see a guy who's like, hey man, give me your wallet because we're putting gas in our car. And we're like, nah, man, I don't want to do that. That guy's a deadly threat to me and I got to go. So what we're going to start with here is, is I want you, when, when it's time to go, we're going to just draw our firearm and we're going to start in that top left and just put shots in there with, with the, the ability to really feel, okay, I see my sights, I press my trigger straight to the rear and I don't have to go quickly, okay? I don't have to go fast, but here's just a reminder what I want you to do, okay? So I'll show you first is that I'm shooting a P30. So red dot makes life easy on this, okay? Everybody's got eyes and ears, you got your ears in, John? Okay, <clears throat> all right. So again, if I see my sights, and in my case a dot, but whatever, see my front sight on my rear sight. Now, once again, my fundamentals. Grip the gun like it stole something from me. Now, I'm not trying to grip around the side, I'm really trying to press the front strap into the back strap, through that and into my hand. Okay, so I'm gripping that as high tang on the gun as I can, pressing back and focusing on pressure with my pinky. Okay. okay, pinky is gonna give me best recoil control. Now this other hand here, I'm gonna fill as much of this space as I can, so I'm gonna take this whole meat of my hand and stick it in here, press around my fingers, and I really, again, want my pinky on the gun to the best of my ability, gripping side to side as much as I can. Now this one here, I really want pressure with my hands, okay? So then what I'm gonna see there is I see the gun doing its thing. Okay, cool, I've got good pressure all around the gun, press the trigger straight to the rear, and it goes where I want it to go. Cool, so I'm shooting the top left one here. So I see it again, it goes where I want it to go. Cool, I see it again, it goes where I want it to go. So, am I going fast right now? No, I'm gonna safely holster. What I'm trying to do right now is just get a feel for, okay, this is the way that the gun is gonna recoil, and I see the sights, and I can press the trigger straight to the rear. So that'll just warm us up a little bit. Make sense? Sure, yep. All right, go ahead and step up to the five yard line. Safely draw and load your gun. Which target? Yeah, pick one, you know, one shoot on that right? same one. Shoot that same top left okay. one. And again, I, you know, you don't have to be, it doesn't have to drill into one hole or anything like that. All right, so go ahead and safely point, uh, go ahead and point at the target there. Bring that gun up. Okay, so you feel pretty good about that. Let me see what you got. I like your grip quite a bit. Okay, your stance is perfectly acceptable. Man, good stuff all the way around. So take your time. You don't, there's no time pressure here at all, right? Okay. So go ahead and, and, and put five shots in there and feel good about them. Yep, just warming up. Is that five? Yeah, it's about seven. Okay. <laughs> Good. Safely holster. Okay. So, um, if you would, one thing when we're going into the appendix we want to watch out for is we do kind of have this tendency to kind of bring the gun back towards us a little bit. Okay. So to, to counter that, I want you to kick your hips forward. So here's what I do. I kick my hips forward, I touch my muzzle to the outside of my holster, and then safely, real slowly and easily. So then that sure. way I'm clearing everything so I'm not pointing the gun at myself at all. And then easily, yeah, exactly, putting okay. that sucker back in there and then that way we don't have that problem. So let's go down and take a look. Um, 
clearly you have the basics of marksmanship down, which is why, again, we didn't start this year with the, the dot torture, because this stuff here, you understand that, okay? Um, this, at, at five yards, putting everything inside the tent, I mean, shoot, you didn't even do that. Seven shots here within about a, you know, an inch and a half circle, you're great, man. Life is grand. Okay, let's step back out to the five. Now then, what we want to start doing is thinking about, okay, so now I have the gun up here and I've got it in my sight. Now what happens when I press that trigger is I want to start to just feel a little bit is looking at my recoil and how soon do I see an acceptable second sight picture, okay? okay. Yep. Don't even have to press the trigger a second time, but what I'm really doing here is, is I'm going bang and then allowing the trigger to reset under recoil so that I am right back to my to my trigger and I am ready to fire when my sights come back. Okay. Okay. So uh, I'll show you the, the right and the wrong here. Okay. So when I go wrong first, I got the gun gripped like I know how to do. Now, one of the things I see, and I'm even apt to this is, okay, I shot it. Now I reset my trigger. Did you hear it? Yeah. So I go, oh, okay. Uh oh. But now what happens? So my sights are on target, but I can't shoot this gun because mm. the trigger is still needing to be reset. Right? So if I okay. can't, if I don't have a live trigger, I can't shoot the gun. Okay. okay? Yep. So what I really want to do here is what I, as it's going, <laughs> notice that the trigger's already back. Okay. So sure. while the gun is under recoil, now that's, I don't have to do that fast. Okay. So I don't have to shoot again quickly, but what I want to do here is I want to see <laughs> and then reset. <laughs> so that will determine. Now I went a little bit faster there, but, but really what I'm trying to do here is I'm out. is I want to see it, feel it. Okay, cool. I so you notice here, I'm just going, oh, okay, let the gun reset. So do you want constant pressure then on the trigger? Is that? So what, uh, what I'm really feeling there is when the gun comes up, I, I, as the gun releases, as soon as I press that trigger to the rear and yeah. I feel the recoil on the gun, let the pressure off and come back to it. Okay. Okay. Let the pressure off until the gun resets. Now, is it going to be super precise? Am I going to get just to the reset there? No, I'm not going to because the gun is moving, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, the great one, Rob Latham, he comes all the way off the trigger every time. Really? Yep. Now, he's Rob Latham. Okay, fair enough. I'm not. You're not. I'm not. We're not. But what we want to do here is we want to get that practiced feel of once the gun goes off, I have two things that I have to get done in that minute, okay? So there's only three things that the gun has to do. I have to grip the gun, I have to sight the gun, I have to trigger the gun. Yep. Now, once I do all that, the bullet goes off, does what I ask it to do, right? But now what do I have to do? I have to prepare as quickly as I can to grip the gun, sight the gun, trigger the gun again. Now, you've already got as much grip on the gun as you're gonna get. Mm -hmm. So when the gun comes out, that first shot goes off, that's all the grip I'm getting. Is your grip gonna be constant then? Or do you, is it, is it, as the gun fires and it comes back, do you relax and then wedge it in again? Or is it going uh, to I really don't. I really okay. want to have as much grip on this gun as I possibly can. Because okay. what that's going to do is that's going to bring the gun back to the place that I left it. And that's okay. really what I want. Okay. okay? Yeah.